create a limited option, name it, market it, and get as many people in as you can. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of your 5-Minute Friday. I'm Dr. Glenn Krieger, your host. And you'd have to be living under a rock at this point to not know that Smile Direct Club has gone the way of the dodo bird. It ceases to exist. It is no more. You know, there's been a lot of discussion about this, and I wanted to weigh in a little bit with my own personal opinion on some things. So on the first hand, everybody's trying to come up with ways to leverage this, to create a message. And I think that's a little bit of a, a question in and of itself is, these people who went to Smile Direct Club and every one of us who runs a practice or works clinically has met these people in our practices at one time or another. You know, they always apologize when they come in. Hey, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize what I was getting myself into. And um, some of them started my practice at full price. Some of them don't. Um, but I do think with them being left high and dry at this point, there is an opportunity to capture some segment of this population. And I do think it's in your best interest to consider if you have a limited treatment option to start marketing that really hard on social media and to tell people out there, hey, uh, you know, were you a, a part of Smile Direct Club? Are you looking to straighten just a couple of teeth? Blah, blah, blah. I can help you, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, yes, I feel bad for these people because it's not their fault. Uh, they were they were sold the bill of goods. Everybody out there who says these people had it coming, they knew what was happening. No, no, they didn't. You've heard us talking about this for ages. As far back as when AAO, I think, was in San Diego, San Diego, uh, if you're an Anchorman fan, I think it was in San Diego, I'm guessing five years ago, give or take. Back then, there was a family member of an orthodontist who I know close, I spoke about it, I wrote about it in Entrepreneurs, who said right there, you know, hey, so-and-so, I'm gonna start with Smile Direct Club. And the orthodontist said, what? What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? So uh, these people don't know better. They don't. And now they're left high and dry. Uh, and it's our opportunity to jump in and help. Now, I'm not gonna tell you here that orthodontists are gonna come in as heroes or saviors. And, and quite honestly, that's not our role, in my opinion. Our role is to run a business and to try to help people wherever we can. And I do think, number one, you should have a limited treatment option in your practice. If you don't have a limited treatment option in your practice, definitely consider one. Uh, I would strongly recommend you name it, right? So for me, I used to have one called Simply Straight with an eight on the end of it. Uh, and that Simply Straight was for eight months or less of treatment. And it had a limited fee and we marketed it directly as Simply Straight. Uh, and I would strongly recommend that you, you consider creating some small program. And for those of you who've listened to Todd, uh, Brown talk at Summit, uh, both virtual and in person, he will tell you if you don't name your unique selling mechanism, it doesn't exist because everybody can compare. And we'll talk more about that another time. But my point here is create a limited option, name it, market it, and get as many people in as you can. It's unfortunate there are people stuck out there with no way to finish your treatment and with nobody overseeing it in any way, shape, or form. So again, I would do this with mercy. I would do this with compassion. Uh, I don't think we have to nail and attack Smile Direct Club uh, to help these people. As a matter of fact, I think if you do nail and attack Smile Direct Club, you're going to alienate many of them because you're only further reinforcing that they made a huge mistake in going there. I would do this with love. I would do it with compassion and tell them, you know, are you one of the people who's still in treatment with Smile Direct Club but has nobody to treat you, right? It's easy to do that without making Smile Direct bad. <laughs> you like that? Smile Direct bad. Um, Smile Direct Club, Freudian slip there, look bad. So again, the take home message here for this one is develop your limited treatment program, make it unique in the way it sounds and how it's presented because otherwise it's the same as everybody else out there and market the bejesus out of it and, and bring people in. And when they come in, if you want to give them a break on price because they've been treated already, great. If not, not but make sure they become screaming emissaries on your behalf so that when you treat them and you've done right by them, hey, I know that you went through Smile Direct Club. I know you had a really bad experience. I'm so thrilled you're happy with what we're doing for you. Please do me a favor. And number one, can you give us a Google review and talk extensively about this so that you can help other people? And number two, go on your social media and explain this on your social media, how we're helping you through this because there could be 
dozens or hundreds of people just like yourself out there. And they will be happy to do that. So I hope this helps. Um, there's lots of advice out there. This is just mine. It's worth what you paid for it. And uh, I would strongly recommend you please go sign up for the Orthopreneur Summit. I think you'll find it remarkable. This is going to be the best summit we've ever had. It is the least expensive summit we've ever had. It is going to be the most exclusive summit we've ever had. And it's the only summit we've ever had that has not one orthodontic speaker on the, on the agenda. Every single pe person speaking is speaking on hiring, marketing, growing your practice, reducing your overhead, reducing your stress, training your team, communicating better, how to hire better, all this stuff that we struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. And I know many of you are tired of seeing the quote unquote same names over and over again, and I'm right there with you. And while I think some of the people out there are remarkable speakers, I wanted to bring people in who were newer to you, but not new speakers. And uh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be remarkable. Go to opsummit2024.com. It is Wednesday night, the 18th of September to the 22nd, Sunday morning of September. It's on a cruise ship. I toured it. Uh, in the beginning of December, and it is a remarkable ship. Uh, we got the whole ship to ourselves, and we're gonna have an amazing time. It's gonna be the meeting that's gonna change your practice and that everybody will be speaking about for ages. Much love to each and every one of you, and just wishing you a great day.